accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Officials and newsmen at first discounted their eyewitness descriptions as being beyond belief. However, reports persisted. Medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured.
Don't worry about him, I can handle him. <laughs> Probably be a lot more of them as soon as they find out about us. The truck is out of gas. This pump out here is locked. Is there a key? We can try to get out here if we can get some gas. Is there a key?
Why don't you see if you can find some wood, some boards, something there by the fireplace, something we can nail this place up. We'll be all right here. We'll be all right here until someone comes to rescue us. But we'll have to work together. You'll have to help me. Now I want you to go in and get some wood so I can board the place up. Do you understand? Okay? things, chasing after it, grabbing and holding on. Now, I didn't see them at first. I could just see that the truck was moving in a funny way. And those things were catching up to it. The truck went right across the road. I slammed on my brakes to keep from hitting it myself. It went right through the guardrail. I guess, I guess the driver must have cut off the road into that gas station by Beekman's Diner. It went right through the billboard, ripped over a gas pump, and never stopped moving. By now, it's like a moving bonfire. Didn't know if the truck was going to explode or what. Still hear the man screaming. thing is just backing away from it. I looked back at the diner to see if, if there was anyone there who could help me. It was when I noticed that the entire place had been encircled. There wasn't a sign of light left except. By now there were no more screams. I realized that I was alone with 50 or 60 of those things, just standing there. 
staring at me. I started to drive. I just plowed right through them. They didn't move, they didn't run or... Just stood there staring at me. Get away. Just Get wanted to crush me. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air day and night. This station and hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through an emergency network backup to keep you informed of all developments. At this hour, we repeat, these are the facts as we know them. There is an epidemic of mass murder being committed by a virtual army of unidentified assassins. Murders are taking place.
Similar killings have been reported around the Houston and Galveston areas, but nothing like... I found the gun and some bullets out there. It was only late yesterday... Oh, and these. ...became clear we were facing some kind of national emergency. When first reports began filtering in, newsmen and law enforcement agencies were of the opinion... This place is boarded up pretty solid now. In nature. However, as these we ought to be all right here for a while. Dramatically, it was soon apparent that we have a gun and more than bullets, the food and the radio. Sooner or later, someone says, bound to come and get us out. Creatures from outer space. So again, we join with law enforcement agencies urging you to seek shelter in a building. Lock doors and windows securely. Hey, that's us. We're doing all right. Any suspicious strangers and keep to radio and television for survival instructions and further details of this continuing story. Look, I don't know if you're here, but I'm going upstairs now. If anything should try to break in here, I can hear it from up there. I'll be down to take care of it. Civil defense officials in Cumberland have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. witnesses to the effect that people who acted as though they were in a kind of trance were killing and eating their victims prompted authorities to examine the bodies of some of the victims. Medical authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murder. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland, civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. And so this incredible story becomes more ghastly with each report. some late words are just arriving and interrupt to bring this to you. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us here to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. When this emergency first began, radio and television was advising people to stay inside, behind locked doors for safety. That situation has now changed. We're able to report a definite course of action. Civil defense machinery has been organized to provide rescue stations with food, shelter, medical treatment, and protection by armed National Guardsmen. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. Just to be repeated without our news coverage. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you. Make your way to that location as soon as possible.
dig it. I mean, he got off line because I couldn't give him a fraction of what he did once. So he did for two and a half I mean, good manners don't cost nothing, do they? Hey.
The lunatic is on the grass The lunatic is on the grass Remembering games And daisy chains and laughs Got to keep the loonies on the path The lunatic is in the hall The lunatics are in my hall The paper holds their folded faces to the floor And every day the paper boy brings more Everyone you fight And all that is now 